Tamashi Nations 2023 is happening, but first we gotta go on Premium Bandai to check out what we got there because we do have Soto, Kamen Rider, Godshard, four? Yes, four. Kamen Rider, Outsiders, Legend, and Zane Premium Edition. Of course, Premium Bandai Limited. But yeah, it's pretty much a set with both uh, Kamen Rider Legend and Kamen Rider Zane from the Outsiders um, thing, whatever. <laughs> Is it TTFC? TTFC special? Uh, that kind of ongoing special that's been happening for quite some time. Um, I haven't really talked about Kamen Rider Zane on the channel, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so, but I like him. I like the suit. The suit's pretty cool. I like the concept. I like that he uses a bunch of different gimmick items in the one belt. That's awesome. I'm waiting for a premium Bandai release for that belt, honestly. But yeah, we got the two boys there. They look great together. I'm not going to lie. They look fantastic together. Paint apps, whatever, you know. You know the details. You know how it goes. It's got all the paints and the, the whatnots. Um... Yeah, it's it's cool. It's a cool set. The gold and black with the white and like tealish color go well together. So really cool that we got some weapons too. Got some car, little baby little cards. Um, yeah, this is a good. This is a good set. This is a really good set. Uh, Four thousand nine hundred fifty yen on Premium Bandai, and it is scheduled to ship in March of twenty twenty four. So yeah, get it. Get it, just get it if you want it. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. All right, time to talk about what happened at Tamashi Nations 2023. Oh my gosh, <laughs> a lot, a lot's dropped. We are on Dengeki Hobby Web because they just do a lot of good stuff. They do a lot of good coverage on these kinds of events. Um, first off, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> I think everyone saw this coming. Cure You Red, SH Figuarts. This is the same version that the new Gokai Red Figuarts is. What the heck is this thing called? I, I, at least I think it is, right? It's the, uh, what's it called? Shinko Cho Seho. That's what it's called. I just had to look it up on Google. Um, <laughs> yes, that version. And I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's that version for Cure You Red, so. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, that's that's really cool. I, I'm I'm hoping for like a King Kiryu Red. That would be really cool, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Uh, Kiryu Red is just the more iconic, you know, hero out of the two. So that it makes sense. It makes sense why they're doing Kiryu Red. It's the tenth anniversary. Fortunately, we didn't get a Go Busters one. That would have been really cool to get Red Buster, but that just wasn't gonna happen. I guess maybe as long as they they do. 10th anniversary specials, they'll do something like this. That'd be really, really cool if we got Tokyo Ichigo next year. That'd be so cool, especially since we didn't get a figure arts, because that's when they ended, right? The Kyoryuji ones were like the last ones before that long hiatus, that seven year hiatus, right? So that'd be really, really cool if we got Tokyo Ichigo. Oh my gosh, I would love that. I would love that so much because Tokyo Ichigo is just absolutely one of my favorite Sentai of all time. But yeah. Let me know in the comments if you're getting this, because I will. I will get Cure You Red for sure. Absolutely. I gotta have it. Like, come on. Come on. How can you not? All right. So, there's that. And then we also got some Ultramans. Um, the one that I'm going to focus mostly on is the Ultraman Rising one, which is this one. And, man, the pro proportions on this guy is so... That's weird. Like, he got skinny legs. He's got, like, this big upper torso i know you know it's animated of course but like still the even in the animated like movie please make sure to check out the reaction if you haven't already i reacted to the trailer of that movie but uh i don't know even even in the movie it just it just looks kind of strange to me i don't know let me know in the comments how you feel about that um he also got his baby because you know apparently he's a father father kind of <laughs> the premise of that movie is, is quite strange definitely not ultraman but i'm curious i'm very curious about it i might have to check out the movie um but yeah so there you go we got the figure there let me know if you're gonna 
get this. Oh, the baby's name is Emmy. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't know that. Got some other Ultraman stuff. I'll link this uh, article in the description below, as well as another article that we'll be taking a look at with a bunch of common Rider stuff uh, very soon here. But yeah, just to kind of go over all this stuff, um, there is Blazar. Yeah, here we go. Here's Blazar on display. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'll link this in the description below, as well as this one. So we are still on. Hobby Dengeki. This is Common Rider stuff. So we got Common Rider Fize's um, 20th anniversary forms here. So here's Kaiza's form, which looks pretty cool. He looks kind of like a bee, especially in this one. <laughs> like he's got the orange. Like he reminds me of Hachi Ojir, doesn't he? He's got the black and the orange going on. That's pretty. Is he based off a of bee? The bee bee? I don't know. I haven't seen Fize, so I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. Maybe he is. <laughs> and I'm just being dumb. All right. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Next Kaiza. That's what his name is. That's pretty dope. I really like the forms. I really like the forms in the 20th anniversary movie. Um, I don't know what... It's got cycles and stuff. Sure. Yeah, here's Kaiza. Here's normal Kaiza. Is this just a new version of Kaiza? I guess so. Maybe we do. Maybe we get a new version of Kaiza. Okay, that's cool. Got the bike. That's cool. So all these are display only, it seems like, um, including the the Kiryuja one that we looked at, right? And the Ultraman one. Yeah, these were display only. So hopefully we get these. There's still a bunch of other display only figure arts that, you know, have yet to ha get a release of some sort. So like... One that I really, really want is Don Murasame. I really, really want that one. Oh my gosh. I, they really need to make that. Um, which I don't really understand why they wouldn't. Because it's Don Brothers. Don Brothers was did pretty well, I think. And, you know, I mean, come on. Who doesn't like their purple heroes? You know what I'm saying? So there's that. And then there's also Ultimate Revi and Ultimate Vice. I totally forgot that they had displayed those <laughs> at an event as well. I need those. I want those in my life. Please, come on. All right, and then we got Common Rider Gotchard, bro. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the butte right here. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, magnificent, immaculate. Oh my gosh, you know I gotta get this. I, I've been collecting all of the main writers' uh, figure arts since after Geo was 0-1. Uh, pretty much the Reiwa ones. So definitely got to continue that streak, especially with this beautiful Gotchard one with the chrome. Oh my gosh. How could you not? Seriously, how could you not get this? The chrome on that? That's gorgeous. That's absolutely beautiful. Look, look at Gold Dash. Honestly, Gold Dash is tempting to get too. I, I don't know if Gold Dash is that display only. Yeah, it is display only. So who knows if this will get a release. Hopefully it does. I mean, I would imagine, right? And then we got Valverad too, or Valverado. I don't know, whatever his name is. I don't know. He's pretty dope. This is pretty dope. I believe he's Premium Bandai. I want to say he's premium Bandai, which is unfortunate. He's still beautiful anyways. 8,800 yen. Oh my gosh. And then we got Geats 9. Yes, they are doing Geats 9. Um, they got to give me my Revine Vice, man. Ultimate Revine Vice. Please give those to me because I love those forms. Um, but yeah, no, this is cool too. Really like, I don't know. The, the black in the middle is still throwing me off. I don't get why they did. Anyway. <laughs> Still don't know why they did that, but whatever. It's still good. It's still a good form. That's a nice figure. Geats 9 display only as of now. So continuing the Geats, we got um, the bike. We got Geats' bike, which also looks really good. Honestly, Gold, Gold, Dash, Gold Dash takes the, the win on this one, though. Gold Dash just looks phenomenal. Not that this looks bad. It's just when you, you, know, you look at Gold Dash and then you look at this one, it's like, oh, well... I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta love the, that shiny gold, man. Yes, the boost striker. That's what it's called. And we got... Oh my gosh, they are never gonna end with these, huh? They're gonna... <laughs> they're just gonna keep releasing all the riders. 
But I'm very, very happy about this because we finally, we are actually going to be getting female molds for um, these Geats Riders. So we're going to get Nago, we're going to get um, Lopo, we're going to get Hakubi, and we're going to get uh that that's the girl right um little letter letter common writer letter that's what it was common writer letter that's what it was don't know why but okay um honestly that's tempting that's the, i might want to get that actually that would be really cool to have to have like the female like get a female molded body with all the female like heads the masks and everything like, i don't know that that's kind of cool that's pretty cool that you know it's kind of an ex a female exclusive figure that doesn't make any sense because that just sounds like it's only meant for girls but you know what i mean <laughs> common rider nago entry raise form an entry raise set display only okay so it's gonna be yeah that makes sense it's gonna be a set Hopefully they actually release it. Um, it's going to be a set with Nago and I assume the, the other three female uh, heads. So that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. We got Kuga stuff on display. Okay. Yeah, sure. Kuga Rising Titan. That's cool. We got... What is this? Is this a new Fies figure art? Maybe? We got shirts. That's cool. <laughs> SH Figure Arts X Henshin by Common Rider Special Edition. Oh my gosh, 15,000 to. Oh, okay. So is it the shirt and the figure, maybe? 15,290 yen. Ooh. That is not a cheap thing. Not a cheap shirt and figure. We also got Common Rider Saga, or sorry, Mast Rider Saga, whatever you want to say it. 11,000 yen. Very, very cool. We got next fives right here. I really like this suit. I know a lot of people don't like the the turntable on the <laughs> on the chest, but I, I kind of like it. I like it. I like the look of this thing. Nine thousand nine hundred yen for that. We also got this boy from zero one. Okay, was this displayed before? I feel like we've seen this before, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just making stuff up. I don't know, but he's display only, so. Cool! Lots and lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool commentary stuff. Also, this picture has been floating around on the internet. I don't know where this picture came from, uh, but this was taken at Tamishi Nations, even though I don't know, I don't know why this is at Tamishi Nations, but it was. <laughs> this is a memorial edition V Sword. What? What's it called? D Sword Vega used by Deca Master from Deca Ranger. Oh my god, this thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I might need this. Um, look at that blade. That's a long blade. I don't know where I would put this thing though. That's the thing. I don't know. But I yo, listen, Deca Master, Shadow Ranger, one of my favorite suits of all time. It, I mean, it, I think it's a lot of people's favorite suits of all time. Like, not gonna lie. Like, it's it's a good suit. And he's a good character. Love Doggy Kruger. Um, love Doggy and Decker Ranger too. Like, oh man. Like, this thing would be so, so cool to have. So, I'm sure it's gonna have, you know, your, your sounds, your uh, BGM, your voice phrases, all that stuff. I wonder if it's gonna have any lights. It, it looks like there could be lights here. I don't know. We can just speculate. This hasn't really been officially revealed, at least like to the general public, like online or anything. Um, but again, this is an official reveal at an official event. Um, so this is super exciting. Uh, this is awesome. Was not expecting this whatsoever. Um, but as you can see, it's also being shown off with the uh memorial sp license and the sp1 license so man so so such a good time to be a deca ranger fan just to show you all on the tamashi nations website we got common rider godchard we got common rider valverad so these are like set these are not these were not just only display just these were not display only these were uh for sure these are for sure happening um, so this one, it looks like it's going to be released in February of 2024. Awesome. Really, really cool. 
really excited for that and then we got this one which is going to be released in may of 2024 so they both look awesome so yes we got common rider godchard here um here's some more information 7700 yen Manufacturers suggested retail price for repeat purchases of 9,900 yen. So yeah, um, it looks like the first run of this um, figure art is going to cost at a lower price of 7,700 yen. It's still more expensive than your typical Kamen Rider figure art. I'm assuming because of the chrome, the very, very nice shiny chrome. Um, but... I mean, compared to 9,900 yen, that's a steal, I would say. Hopefully on Amazon Japan, it is cheaper, so I might just have to get it on Amazon Japan. We'll see. We'll see the listings when they come up. Um, of course, all of you who have to ship out overseas, outside of Japan, you know, shipping fees and all that. Keep that in mind. Um, yeah, and of course, the... Kamenari Gotchard Steam Hopper Figure Art is retail, which is nice. It's always, you know, that's just the typical, uh, that's just how it typically goes. Um, so I guess after the first run of this figure art, it's going to bump up to 9,900 yen, the, the usual price. So uh, get it while it's, while you can, get it while it's cheaper, I would say for sure. Um, but wow, this is nice. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed with the chrome. I love that they use the chrome. I'm, I, I was wondering like before they announced this, I was wondering like, man, like, are they going to actually, like, are they going to do the chrome with this? Like, I feel like that would be more expensive, you know, than a typical figure art, you know, without chrome. So really, really cool that they added the chrome and that they're giving it to us at, a lower price. It is lower, lower price. So that's that's nice. Um, and then, of course, we're gonna get Valverad. Where did he go? And Valverad is premium Bandai. So keep that in mind. Um, that is going to be eight thousand eight hundred yen, and it is scheduled to be shipped out in May of twenty twenty four. So um, yeah. There you go. Very, very nice. Very beautiful as well. That's that's a really cool figure. Not going to lie. Um, oh, he's also going to come with this bow thing if you want to give Godchard his bow. So that's how they get you to buy these things. They always got to like add a little something in there, you know, just to make you want this even more. So... Uh, I'm good though. I, I do like the look of it. I like the look of it a lot, but I think I'm just going to be good with my Kamen Rider Gotchard figure art. It's a beautiful thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it here. Let me know in the comments what you're getting. What are you getting in this? Uh, any, you know, out of all these figure arts that we showed off in this video, what are you getting? What are you excited for the most? Thank you all so much, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on our social media dashboards below. We also have a Discord. So make sure to flex your toys, collectibles, all that good stuff. And we will see you all next time.